Replicating the human sense of touch is what these new robots can do. Syntouch is the company that builds them. Founder and CEO, Dr. Gerald Loeb. With me now, Dr. Loeb, thank you so much in advance for the time. What made you want to create these robots that would have the human-like sense of touch? So if you've ever had your hands numb from the cold on a winter's day, you'll know that your hands are pretty much useless without a sense of touch. And right now, robots in industry and prosthetic hands and used by patients have no sense of touch. So no matter how good you make the motors and the joints, they're really not going to be any more useful than your hand on a, on a cold day. So we're watching incredible video. You already know your robots can do this, but our viewers, myself just learning, we're seeing the robot hands picking up eggs and otherwise small objects, a little styrofoam S we're watching now. You receive grant money from the U.S. Department of Defense. What are the potential applications you're most excited about? So actually, this is a, a, an entirely new technology with many different applications. And in, in addition to putting it on a wide range of robots and prosthetic hands, it turns out that having an objective way to know how materials feel is really important to the consumer products industry. And that's a, an exciting new area that we've been working in for a couple of years with a lot of interest from Fortune 500 companies that make products based on how they feel. So what was the biggest challenge to creating what I understand are these sensors that pick up texture, that pick up temperature, that pick up force, vibration? How did you do it? So it took us a while to realize that what matters about the finger is not so much what you sense, but the mechanical properties of the finger. It's, you're having to collide with objects with your finger. And so it, if you're going to feel something the same way that a human does, you have to have the same mechanical properties, a soft, elastic skin over a squishy material underneath like your finger pulp. Uh, things like fingerprints and, uh, and, and fingernails wind up having a very important uh, effect on the interactions with objects and therefore on what you sense with the sensors that we built into our fingers. So Dr. Loeb, I feel like for veterans prosthetics, these would be miracle pieces. So we've had a lot of improvement in function with some very simple forms of tactile sensing. Uh, it turns out that even more important than consciously feeling what you touch are all those reflexes that you rely on. So when you touch something and you start to grab it, your spinal cord actually knows that you've made contact and adjusts the contact force automatically. Prosthetic hands don't do that now, and we're working with one of the major manufacturers of prosthetic hands to add that kind of tactile sensing. So the hand will stop on the object just as your normal hand will. All right, Dr. Loeb, thank you so much. It's fascinating. We're glad you're here. Sin Touches founder and CEO, Dr. Gerald Loeb.